Well, September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and that turns out to be the second leading killer in men. Well, there's a recent study that says keep on drinking that coffee. It's good because it could also help stave off prostate cancer. Uh, Dr. Samadhi, how many cups do you need to drink, and how do they figure this out, oh, that drinking oh. coffee can help potentially prevent prostate One so, for each of us. So, so we'll get to this. But before we get to the whole coffee business, which I've been a huge advocate, prostate cancer is extremely important because it's a silent killer. There are no symptoms. One out of six men get prostate cancer and they have no idea that they have it. Mm. It's also not the old man disease anymore. We see young men in their 40s come to the office with prostate cancer. So I want you to go out there and get tested and get your PSA and get checked. Now for the month of September, you remember Jamie last year we did this. It was a huge success. If you are newly diagnosed with prostate cancer, as a way to give back to the community, you can send your information and I personally will respond back and will answer you by email, by Facebook, etc. That has helped out a lot of people out there. The new study about coffee, what exactly, I think coffee is really a secret drink that not too many people know about this. There's a lot into it. Uh, that we're exploring more. The whole uh, recent research has shown that it can reduce diabetes, colon cancer, prostate cancer, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and the list goes on and on. So what's in it? that's so great and we are finding out that things such as chlorogenic acid it reduces the cell growth and it can reduce cancer amazing right we talked about cirrhosis what's in it that causes redu reduction of cirrhosis vitamin b2 b3 and b5 i love coffee the only people that i don't want to touch coffee is if you're osteoporotic woman older than 65 you have bone density really? that's really low don't touch it high blood pressure we can talk about mm -hmm. it pregnant women stay away from it and if you have reflux that's not good for you but if you like coffee I drink four and what I've said is and Mark will elaborate on this one to two drinks is not going to make any difference okay. six is too much huh. three to four is when you get the whole action potential well what about you had four and drinks I have con and, and I've converted this man to drink coffee so four <laughs> drinks and what about the blood pressure and you know your heart racing and all that okay so David already got into to that I think you have to watch this if you okay. have high blood pressure yeah. you got to watch it if you have reflux you got to watch it if you're prone to irritation or anxiety those are things and you have to talk to your doctor about this but coffee has a lot of magic ingredients in it it's got these phytochemicals mm -hmm. that David mentions caffeine may play a role in decreasing cancer risk and I admit this latest study out of Hutchinson in Seattle looks at four cups and there was a dramatic difference between four cups and just one cup. It adds to a study out of Harvard that showed also a dramatic difference, 59% decreased risk of cancer recurrence. Now what I like about this study, Eric, this is really important. It looked at people who already had prostate cancer. So it's not fishing in the ocean. What's your risk of getting prostate cancer? These people already had it. When they had four cups of coffee a day, they had 59% less risk of, of it spreading. And you know something? Wow. Here's something else David will like. They really looked closely on what they meant by spread. They looked at the PSA. They looked at biopsies. They looked at everything he looks at very carefully. I'm very impressed. I'm actually glad that Mark brought, brought this up. This is a different study. In the past, we talked about 60% reduction in advanced prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. But in this particular one, it's the reduction of recurrence and progression. People who have had the, uh, prostate cancer, Take, drinking four cups a day actually slows down the progression or advancing the disease. That's a very important right, so point. So four cups of coffee and one of the greatest inventions in the history of mankind, Mr. Coffee. And I don't have, yeah, we don't have any share of, of coffee. So you can wake up and the coffee's already there and you know it's ready to drink. <laughs> okay. Thank uh, you. When we come back from a quick break, I want to ask Dr. Siegel if decaf is just as good and what about mm. tea? We'll be right back.